So we're gonna set ourselves up with our feet underneath the hips, slightly apart, keeping that lower back nice and flat. And then we're gonna bring the elbow up to hold that shoulder position. Now let's get that arm to move out nice and smooth, three seconds with good control to your wrist. Down, two, three, back to start position right next to the hip. Out, two, three, down, two, three. So nice and smooth breathing with the pattern coming down, breathing in and out, exhale. And breathing in, inhale and out, exhale. So keep good positioning for your core and apply that focus. Can you physically feel that stretch, the flex, the stretch, and the flex, and the stretch. That's it, get that muscle finder working to zone right in and feel that that gets fatigued, gets a burn going. And as we finish the last repetition before we switch sides, you can tell you've really engaged that muscle. Now we'll switch sides. And again, get a nice setup here. Keep that lower back nice and neutral. Set the shoulder neutral and then bring the elbow up a little bit. We'll begin out, two, three, down, two, three to start. Exhale, bring in that air and inhale. And exhale and inhale. Nice. Just nice and keeping your neck neutral. Of course, I might look this direction a little bit, but I'll set myself back and keep my neck nice and neutral and hold that arm position right from the shoulder and the core. And remember, we're isoconnecting. We're moving and we're using 60% on the upper arm, 40% on the forearm down to the wrist. So we are controlling that wrist position with a 60-40 muscle finder, tightening and stretching, and tightening and stretching. Excellent, so that, again, you should feel that you got the stretching, flexing, and we're working to equalize both sides. We're gonna do that set by repeating that video another time and getting used to how that feels.